Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another stream. So guys, uh, we are going to create this gas cylinder in 3D Smash today. So, we'll create the model, then we will unwrap the UV, then we'll make all the textures inside such a paint. So, it's a random image. I'm seeing high brawl in the stream. Okay, so we'll start with this. Hello. Okay, then we'll apply material. Then I'm going to remove all the high segments and change the size to 28 maybe. Okay, and I'm going to reduce the radius, the height. A, then I'll duplicate this cylinder and add it just for a backup. Now we'll convert this one to editable poly. Okay, we need to change for these two faces or two sides. Okay, and I'll select this one first. Then we will convert the selection to edges by holding down control and clicking the edge okay and if I change on this or we can just select this face inset then move this face a little bit to the top Okay, now we can convert this selection to edges and chamfer this. Okay, something like this. Now we can select this edge, same. Then we don't need that much polygons or edges. Okay, something like this. Uh, which CP you have, bro? Link, sorry, you can check the description. Nice. Oh, you mean the processor name, right? It's i7. Details all in the description. Now here, I uh, will just select this face, convert to edges, then can chamfer it. Okay. 
something like this. So it's a basic shape. Now we can model the rest of the parts. I'm going to go to the top first. Hide and select it. Then we'll create a cylinder here with the spline. You can create this sorry circle. Now the rendering section we can enable viewport, change the thickness to maybe fine. I think four is enough. Okay, four. Hold on, maybe we can change to five. Okay, so I think the stream may be a short one, so it was fine. Now we need to create a couple of blocks. Actually, you can just convert this into a table poly. I mean, this circle thing. Selection right. Remember to table fully. Can find these faces. Okay, to frame this inside. Or we can wait, we need to go back and add one more sides. I think we need to find the correct side. I'm going to select all these. I swear this down. Yeah. I think we need one more so okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna select this. Faces, okay. And it's rolled down. You can just place like this so if you get uh, connect or sorry bridge with this cylinder it will be perfect Okay, hold on, we need to delete this one. We need to remove this one and find a new. Okay, I'm gonna just connect with the text. Let's do it. Hey, I think this is a Now in this center, we need to create that thing, hold on, okay, we need to select this face, I'm going to bevel this. Okay, then insert. I think you should insert all the way. No. Okay, then extrude this one. And I'm going to add one segment in the center, which is a SIF loop. Maybe you should place the size and tap on it. I'm not sure. Let's see it through this. Okay, then we will export this again. Or we need to create a new shape in here. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna export this and that's it.
and extract. Okay, then next for that class. Okay, here we need to actually add another shape. Okay, I'm going to insert this face. And let's go to inside. Okay, now we go to the top and create a new, sorry, new cylinder. So it should be in the center. Okay. Now we need to reduce the sides and increase the height. And reduce the size to maybe six. And there's a thickness, maybe. Okay, something like this. But if I duplicate this one, reduce the size and the height. Yeah, basically. Oh, I think we don't need to do that again. Keep some. Okay, now we'll attach all this together. Okay, we need to select this face and I'm going to extrude down. We can just add on. No, we can actually insert. This face then next row top. We need to create hole in this. Maybe we can create in our sort of create uh, with alpha channel, maybe. Yes, we don't need to model that, right? Now we can maybe turn on one segment in the center. Okay. 
maybe we should increase the thickness this area should be flat right I don't think this should be Maybe anyway, I'm going to keep this search in here and this part actually too small. Maybe we can increase the size. I'm going to select all this. including this now it should be fine and we'll just move this to the top Okay, now we can start unwrapping the UVs and export all this to paint after creating a hyperlink. So, okay, first we need to clear all the smoothing tubes, not a new one, wherever you want. Okay, I'm going to add this under UV doubling modifier. Pack this first. Now we'll start from here. Collection then get the color map. Again, I'm going to grow the selection to this edge and remove this. Then get the color map and like. So. You can cover this area. Okay, and I see syndical projection to this. And let's see. We vertical projection and we can relax it. Straighten this. Okay. Again, another single direction. Relax it.
Okay, I'm gonna grow this selection like this. And we get back to the gate. And we have this other shape here. You can just use the flat mapping or I think we'll just manually unwrap this. Now, select all these faces. I think we need to grow the selection. Okay, then cylindrical projection, C direction, and we'll just okay. We need to build these scenes we have in here. I'm gonna press this build selector sub object. See and get the lines. We can straighten this by this straight to the selection. Okay, okay just select one face, and if you click this ring UV, it will actually select all this. So again, as another cylindrical projection. Then, I think we need to straighten this. Then relax again. Okay, hold on again. Now we have this gap. I'm gonna select all these edges by double click. And we can convert the selection to edges by holding down the control and click this polygon. Okay, it will select. And you see it, planar map maybe. And like so. So that's for the main shape. We can just press control A and pack all this. Save copy. I think this is the last part, right? Yes. We can clear all these smoothing loops already. I think we already did that. Anyway, we can. Bro, him from India, Kerala, bro. Here, first I'm going to select the small parts and we see the color map. Side. I think you can use a cylindrical projection. Okay. 
Yes. If one shape looks like a cylinder, you can go for this multiple shape projection. Now we have this two like thing. We're gonna select this edge, convert to polygon. Then. Okay, grow the selection. I'm gonna select the half of this uh, thing. I need to grow on the top. It's not half, right? I think this is a half. Then we can use the equip and our map and let's. Uh, this is the remaining part you can just select like this again keep the normal and like so okay now control a and back on this So actually these parts will be hidden so you don't need to worry about these small areas, you can just leave it like that. Okay, I'm gonna collapse all this then attach it this top part. It's a basic model. Uh, we need to change the pivot somewhere here and place in the center. We need to add this UBW on the time. I'm ready to select all this and we can just pack like this. Wait, I think we can. Okay, now we have the it's still not possible. Thing is fine. We'll close this and we'll just duplicate this model by going to edit. So I'm going to change the name to high. You don't need this and you can delete. And the center of it. And hide the low poly. Or high poly. We can add this chamfer modifier. And we change it to unsmooth edges. Okay, then maybe we should add one more segment. Sorry. Then if I add this turbo smooth, you can see the final result. So you need to hold all these edges. Before we apply the okay. 
okay add two segments here then we'll clear all the smoothing groups in this thing okay no everything should be fine and we can do one more thing this is half right i'm gonna select this edge and turn it to faces clear all the smoothing groups add a new one so it will actually add these hard edges in this area or we can I think we just need only one Now we don't need to worry about the seams, I think. I'm gonna keep like this. Mohan Bhai, you're gonna stream. Do you have Porsche GT? No, bro, I don't have the model. See, we need to fold these edges again. Yeah, I think we need to hold this.
we still need to add a few more edges Ding. here yes Yes, I need to Okay, thing less. Hold on. Need to add one more thing. I'm gonna select this edge, shape for it. Okay. Then yes, we have this edge right now. Select this one again and scale this little bit and chamfer. Okay, something like this. So uh, this is a high poly. Now we can export this model to substance paint. Okay, first. You know, collapse all this. Then go to export, export selector. Your sets. Then we'll export the high poly, sorry, low poly. Yes, M or yes. okay, low poly and high poly. Okay, now we can open the substance painter, then bake all the textures there. Uh, how long does it take to learn 3 ds Max? Depends problem. Doing many threads in the of files is... Yeah, but it's high poly. So in paint, uh, can I uh, import our low poly? Go to file and can add our low poly here. So here is our UV. And our model. 
Okay, if we go to text assist settings, you can make the text is open the back mesh maps, change to curve okay, and we'll change the direction width to two. Here we can add our height poly with this distance. I don't know this. Then we'll change this angularizing to eight and eight. And just back for the text is to take some time, I think. Because we change the end realizing to it point. Guys, don't forget to like. Share and subscribe. So, just make all the textures you can see all it here. Normal map, ambient occlusion, and rest of the other maps. You have see little bit deformation here, the socket. Okay, now go to the lace, add a new fill layer. So we need to do this layer first, then add a mask. And I want to change the material first. Okay, now select the mask and go to this polygon fill where we can change it to mesh fill and then select these two. Okay, now duplicate the group, then right click the mask and invert the mask. We will change the color to hold on. I will clear this mask. Select the first one. We need to remove this area. So I'm going to change this triangle, sorry, polygon fill. Then press X to deselect. And we can just drag. Okay. Now you can copy the mask is here, then invert it, invert mask. I'm going to save this. Yes. Where do you put the Arabic translation in the program? I don't know how to translate pro. Okay, you need to change the color, right?
Yes, I think we don't need the metallic. Already. Maybe you should find a different material. Yes, steel paint. Uh, we can change the color. And here also. Okay, I don't think no, you have to do that. Okay, so this is a basic material setup. Okay. Now we can create a, we can just duplicate this uh, base layer, change the color to maybe light gray or black, then go to smart mask, we need to Add some edge scratches on it. I need to check something. Okay, nice. Okay. So we need to we need to solve the color. Can we I change the height position maybe. Okay, yes, I'm gonna change the color to black. Here we can change the color to red. Okay. Now go to the mask. We can invert to this uh, that thing. Now if I change the size to 4K, can see the damage is more clear. Let's see. So now I'm gonna keep it in 4K, okay. It'll render fast, so. Which fair is the contrast? Then we can close the mix and we'll need it to add some dust, maybe. So we'll create a new fill layer and add this rest occlusion okay and we can change the color to
maybe light brown or something and if you have the texture you can just add it here okay so i'll first for the most actually have this texture here if i add this you show normal and this for the reference okay and sometimes we need to invert this normal way so I'm gonna add this level, change it to normal, and to green channel, we can invert this normal. Normal, thanks bro. So you can add textures like this, okay? Maybe we should change the scale to 4. and can increase the dot level this is just a more so i need this uh, model actually the more so i'm going to duplicate this layer and disable the first one but now i'm going to remove this mouse Maybe you should keep the normal map. We don't need the data all over the model, so I just need it in here. You can change the color back to brown, maybe. Right here to right. We just need it here, maybe a little bit here also. You can see. A as for the maybe you should change the color back to dark. So I'm gonna duplicate sorry, duplicate this uh, base layer and clear the mask and Add a new dot layer. Change the color to maybe black or white for now. Now open the mask editor. Here we can remove one of this and add a new procedure or grinch mask. I'm gonna search for leak. In procedure okay or branches and we can add one of this this is actually for the guys Yeah, 
been a great change in the world to Maybe you should change to the material. I don't know. You know, we can actually add some text here. We are going to create a new fill layer above the main base layer. This looks nice actually. Change the color and I'm gonna clear this mask and this edge cut so it's strong. We don't need the scratches, we can just add this extra. Okay. Now we can create that text and add this mask, put alphas. We need to find text alpha. Then we can use this one, right? Okay. Um, I'm not sure if we can use this name.
we can see first we need to move this layer not i'm going to change the name We need to change the name. Sorry. It's fine, we can keep this name. Okay. No, we don't need the normal and change the color to maybe yellow. I think white is better. We have to remove this now. So the text actually looks clean, right? Maybe we can select this alpha. We need to duplicate the layer, I think, or we can use this dot one. Can we paint? No, nope. I think we need to duplicate. You can just paint like this, or we need to add another dark layer, maybe. Or get the surface.
Anyway, I'm gonna keep like this, okay? We can change the text color and change the blending mode to maybe overlay. Nope. Maybe you should add some color variation into the base color. Duplicate this layer, clear the mask, and I can add. Um, Yes, I think uh, that's it for the yes, cylinder. It doesn't too small. So, if you want to ask anything, you can just comment. Problem in a circle with tendencies. So next stream will be on Wednesday, okay? Can we can actually create holes in here? For that, we need to add this opacity, opacity channel, and I'm gonna create a new fill layer and a mask. We need to enable the opacity. 
and we need to find the one as a Maybe this one. Okay, I'm gonna select this one. And this. Put in here, okay? Now go to the shader settings. Change the shader to. This PBR metal reform, sorry, with alpha test. Okay. Now, in the opacity channel, we can reduce the problem. Is it won't affect the other side? Wait. Oh, it's actually not affecting the first time. Anyway, you can create hole like this. Or we can just uh, turn on the symmetry, right? Still not working. Radio symmetry, maybe mirror symmetry. Guys, uh, that's it for today. So then, I will see them, right? See them in the Abraham Hill with the stream. So, guys, that's it for today, and on the stream, we'll be on Wednesday. Guys, uh, Okay, render. Okay, I'm gonna export. PNG format, 4K, and I can export. Okay, and we'll open the Mamas toolbar. Okay, here we can add our model. and a shadow cancer
can start in this ideas. Add this base color, normal map, make sure actually you flip white channel and reference metallic enable the ambient operation okay that's it the model is a bit large for one set okay add this light now go to the sky, change it to color maybe. Pull up to black or gray. So everyone, thanks for joining the stream. Thanks for support and. See you on this day. Bye guys, take care, we'll see you soon.